Hello guys, what is up? It is Spooky Noodles. I am here with a book mail video. Yep, I have some book mail. But first I want to say a few things, um, and now I totally forgot about them. Wow, it's been one of those days today where I just can't remember what I am talking about. I, I could say something like two seconds, like I'm about to say something and boom, forget it. It's gone. But uh, I have a book mail here for you guys today. Um, and I have... Uh, I'm going to talk about some of the the um, the readathons that I'm taking part in. Well, I'm going to try to take part in because there's a lot of them, and I hate to leave someone's readathon out. But of course, I'm not going to be able to participate in all these readathons. So, so I feel really bad. But some of these readathons I'm not going to be able to do. I'm going to try to do at least a prompt from each reading challenge, but. Honestly, it's gonna be very tough for me to do. Um, but anyways, today we have book mail, and I got some mail from my good friend Art. Well, I like to consider him a friend. We're more acquaintances. Um, I wanted to support him, and he's a great writer. I hear. Uh, I haven't read him yet, so I wouldn't know. But he's got. A, he's been accepted to some anthologies, and I have never really been accepted to an anthology, really. Um, so, well, I have, but. Uh, He's been too. He's been accepted to some big, big anthologies. So I like to think he's he's making it a name for himself. Um, and that is R.J. Rolls. Now I have two of his earlier works, or at least I think they're earlier works. And um, yeah, they they got some really cool, neat covers to them. And um, yeah, so we're just gonna talk about R.J. for a second here. Um, the books that I have here are very short. Um, let's see here. This one is 53 pages. Um, and then the next one is... Uh, let's see here. 68 pages. So they're very, very short novellas. Or, I don't even know if they're novellas, but, um, I think they're novellas. They're very, very short novellas, and... Yeah, uh, RJ is uh, big in the horror community. Uh, at least I think he is. Um, I like to think he is big in the horror community. Um, if you see this bright light right here, I have this curtain that doesn't go all the way down. So um, it reveals a little bit of light and the light's bouncing off my shirt, so I apologize. Um, but yeah, without further ado, we will talk about RJ Rolls. Well, talk about the books I got. The first one is called ugh, Damn Light. The first one is Girl's Best Friend by R.J. Rolls, obviously. And my copy is signed. It says, To Nick, what would you... What would your web say? My bad, I read that wrong. That was my bad. And it says, R.J. Rolls. And, um... It has a bunch of like thank yous and stuff like that. Um, it says the cover art was done by Brian Scott. I could definitely tell that this was done by Brian Scott. Um, this, this is like a staple of his. Wow, every time I move, the light comes with it. Um, but yeah, let me read what this is about really quickly. Janie Fenton is a girl who loves to read. With her fr new friend, Alice, Janie spends her days reading out loud so they both can enjoy the stories. Her mom doesn't approve, although she's never really approved of anything when it comes to her daughter. While Janie's dad was the polar opposite. Being a book lover himself, he always supports their habit with a trip to the library. Now, later in life, Janie is in therapy trying to reconcile uh, the tragedies of her past to better help her understand who she is as a person. Twisted with emotions, all will be revealed with each passing session. So that sounds interesting. And then the next one is the sequel. And it says, To Nick, thank you for your support, RJ Rolls. That's really sweet. Uh, this is The Tangled Webs 2, book number two. And that is Loose Strand. And another great cover by Brian Scutt. I'll read the back here. Um, it also has a nice little... Uh, 
a nice, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm forgetting words at the moment, um, blurb here by uh, my friend Jason Myers, who wrote Decisions and Cupid. Uh, you might know Cupid on my channel. I reviewed that uh, short story. It says here, RJ Rolls draws you into the pages and places you in the midst of madness. It is up to him if he lets you out or not. So let's read it. When Big Shot Lawyer Brenton writes second, well actually, let's not read this because this is a sequel. And I don't wanna give away the first book away from for me. So that was really close, but I don't read sequels, synopsises until I read, you know, the first book. And actually, I don't read them at all because I don't wanna ruin it for anybody. But uh, these are the two books I got from RJ Rolls. They're both signed and yeah. So I wanted to talk about um, some of the readathons that I'm participating in. So we have my friend Paul's challenge, the Halloweenathon. Then you have Richard's cha challenge, which I don't think has a name, but uh, his is the three month ch uh, reading challenge. Um, then you have the Step Right Up a thon, which is my friend Nikki's cha uh, challenge. And then you have the, uh, I don't remember what it's called, but it's a creature feature challenge which it takes place in October. So each one of these has like three to five prompts. And I've realized that I'm putting too much pressure on myself to read too much at once. I'm getting really stressed out just thinking about reading and that's not fun. It's not fun when you're stressed out about reading. The one thing that you like doing and you're stressed out about it, you know, that's not cool. I got massive heartburn right now. So I apologize if I like suck in air, <sighs> but, um, I'm really stressed out with these readathons. I, I want to participate in them all, but I feel bad if I don't participate in one of them. So I'm going to try to take one prompt from each reading challenge and I'm going to try to successfully do it. Now I'm almost done with Richard's from Are You Into Horrors first, uh, first uh, prompt, which is read a book 31 years or older, old or o older. And I'm reading Worms by James R. Montague or Mont yeah, Montague, and um, that one's going very well. I'm past the halfway point. I have like two hours and 45 minutes left in the audiobook, and that's just uh, like another few more weeks till I finish that, and uh, yeah. So technically I'm finishing one prompt for Richard's challenge. Richard's challenge lasts three months, so I think I can do Richard's challenges. Um, I don't exactly know what his challenges are, but most of them have to do with reading older fiction. So then you have my friend uh, Paul's reading challenge, which is also three months long. Actually, it might be a little bit more than three months long, but um, his is he has uh, four prompts, a fifth one if you need, want, but uh, I believe he has four prompts and I'm going to try to do them. But um, I've already finished one in its read a creature feature, and that it was the hunger on the Chisholm Trail. Uh, he has a few other ones. I would have to rewatch his uh, video to figure out what the reading challenges were. But um, yeah, I was reading uh, one. F I was reading uh, the P Curse of the Pigman for his reading challenge, and it works out for another reading challenge. But at the same time, that reading challenge doesn't isn't happening yet. So yeah, um. I am going to read my friend's book soon. I was going to wait to read this book um, for uh, Nikki's reading challenge, and that was to read something with black on the cover. Um, as you can see, this has black on the cover. At least I think it has black on the cover. Anyways, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I'm I'm thinking about reading this book sooner than later because I'm just so damn excited to read it. Um, so I'm probably going to put this further up on my TBR than a lot of other things. I am 22% through uh, Asher Ellis's uh, The Curse of the Pigman. Um, it's going well. But uh, man, it's taking a little bit of a turn. It's starting to add characters and I'm starting to lose my attention. My, I have a really short span of attention when it comes to adding characters. like. When you, like, everything was going fine. We were six chapters in without, and all we had was the two characters, really. We added one more, but then he quickly got killed off. I'm not going to mention him, his name, but uh, you could probably ascertain what I'm talking about when you read the book. 
But, um... Yeah, um... Uh, what was I saying? See, it's been one of those days for me. Um, but anyways, Asher Ellis' book is a book I need to read. Um, and I'm hoping to read it very soon. Um, my, my camera's getting blurry, so I apologize about that. Um, but, um... Yeah. Uh, these reading challenges are, are really stressing me out, is, is what I'm trying to get at. It's They're really stressing me out, and I can't do them all. So I'm going to take... One prompt from each reading challenge, and I'm going to try to successfully do it. So I already did one from Paul's. I already did one for Richard's. So in, when September 13th or whatever it is comes around for the Separate Upathon, I'm going to try to read one prompt at least. I know you're supposed to read five books in like in like 10 days or something like that, or 13 days. I don't remember what it was, but there's no way I can read five books in 13 days. That's just I'm a slow reader. I am an avid reader, but I am a slow reader. So, and that's mostly due to because of my reading disability. I have dyslexia. I know, I know, I, I suffer a lot of things. I apologize, but I have a reading disorder. Always have, and always will. Um, I just flip words. I jump lines. It's it's just what I do. I have to go and reread every once in a while. So, yeah, but um. Where was I going with that? <laughs> um, I'm I'm just I'm struggling with these challenges, is what I'm saying. Um, I'm stressed out about them, and yeah. So I'm definitely going to read this book sooner than later. Um, I'm sure it's going to work with some challenge of some sort. Obviously, it works for the read black on the cover challenge for Nikki's, but Nikki's is all the way to in like in the middle of September, and I don't think I can wait that long to read this book. But um. Yeah, um, I am currently reading uh, The Curse of the Pigman, and like I said, I'm 22% through it, and it's going very well so far, but the problem is, oh, this is what I was trying to say earlier, um, they add too many characters. They're, they just added like three characters in the span of like one chapter, and it's like, oh, now I gotta keep track of these people? Hopefully not, but um, that's what I believe I'm gonna have to do, and it's very frustrating. Um, the book is good though. It's a very good book. I like the initial story with, uh, oh, what is his name? I don't remember his name. I think it was Jason. I don't remember his name though. Um, for the, uh, um, what was his name? What's his name? What is his name? I don't remember his name. Uh, pfft. Uh, well, of course, yeah, I don't remember his name, but, um, yeah, uh, I don't remember his name. I know it started with a J, though. It was either Jack, Jason, uh, something like that. I think it was Jason, though. And, uh, Jason is trying to save this little girl from these cultists. So, the, um... Basically, I'm reading this book for Paul's reading challenge, which is to read something that has to do with the occult or a cult. And um, it's, his challenge is awesome. It's three months long, four or five prompts. You should, you should do it, you know? It's Halloween-a-thon. It's awesome. It's an awesome read-a-thon. Um, I like read-a-thons that give you time to complete them, you know? Um, I do... I, I respect anyone who ha can read five books in 13 days or whatever I just can't do that I'm not that fast um, with my reading disabilities but I'm going to try my best I'm going to try at least my mission for uh, Nikki's reading challenge which is I read past my bedtimes YouTube channel uh, for her challenge I'm gonna try to do the read something with black on the cover and to read something um, that is horror because those two prompts should be very easy to accomplish. And I have two books I have uh, for that. Um, so I probably should stay on target or stay on point or whatever and finish The Curse of the Pigmen and then jump into this. But the problem is I'm just so excited to read this book. And, and yeah. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm boring you guys with my talk about the readathons, but I just want to let you know I'm a little stressed out having to deal with all this 
thought about reading challenges. Um, I failed my own reading challenge, which was to read at least two to three books that have to deal with being on an island. I failed that one miserably. So I already have this like st like this this uh, feeling that I'm gonna fail. So there was this one. I don't remember which. Uh, I think it was the Step Right Up a Thon uh, had a challenge that was like read a sequel or something like that, and I have the perfect book for that, so I'll probably finish that one very quickly. Um, but there's gonna be some bumps, and I'm not gonna. I'm failing all these challenges. I'm promising you that right now, except for maybe Paul's and Richard's, um, because they span over three months, and Richard only has two. Like you only have to read three books for Richard's challenge. And I've already halfway through. I'm already past the halfway point in one of the challenges. Um, his second challenge has to do in September, and that is to read a book with um, October on the cover, I think. Um, and that, for that, I have another audio book in place, and I'm going to read that for that month. And it should be awesome. And it also fits for a prompt in I Read Past My Bedtimes. So. I'm thinking it's going to be a, I'm going to probably start a little early on her reading challenges. I hope that's okay. Um, I just, I need a handicap for a lot of these reading challenges. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to laugh there. I just, I really need a handicap for these reading challenges. So I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, I talked a lot um, and it, the book mail was actually only five minutes long. So I got these two books, Loose Strand and Girl's Best Friend. Um, I'm looking very forward to reading these books. Uh, this one was actually, oh, this is, oh, never mind. Um, but uh, just, just, just shut up, Nick. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm looking very forward to reading these books. I'm so happy that I could buy them off my friend and s support him. Um, and uh, yeah. But anyways, I hope you guys are having a good day, and I hope you have a spooky night. I know I'm going to have a spooky night because I just downloaded uh, Tubi, which is a free uh, video or movie watching stream thingy. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I already found a few horror movies that I'm interested in on there. And all you got to do is watch a few commercials here and there. So it's not that bad. Um, it might take me out of the uh, atmosphere, but it's okay. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to watching them. Um, and I hope I have a spooky night. So my point is, have a spooky night, guys. And I will catch you in the next video. So peace out. Hopefully the next video is tomorrow because I have some books coming tomorrow. So peace out, guys. Yeah, peace out, dudes.